Welcome back. So we added an edit button and we added an add button and we also can read everything. Now I want to add the delete button. Now this doesn't look nice. Let's fix the layout later. I really don't care about it right now. But what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to click delete here. When I click delete, it's going to pop up with an actual delete um, screen where it asks, do you want to delete the guy? And I say yes. Or I say go back like this. Do you want to delete Bob? Yes or no, go back and then I didn't delete Bob, I can say yes and then Bob will be deleted, right? So that's the goal of this one to actually also add and delete. And there are multiple ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one way to do it and I'm going to do it rather quickly because uh, I want to actually move on to how we can auto scaffold all of this beautiful things we're working with here. So let's start out just talking about what we did for the two action methods. Just like before I have a delete uh, with, a, with a get and a delete with a post just like we did with the edit, so no difference there. As same here, I'm going to pull out the person I want to delete, just like we did with the edit, and then I'm going to throw this guy into a view that I will show you in a second. Now, if I decide to actually press yes, I want to delete him. Then, if and if I pass in an ID, I'm just verifying that that is actually an ID, then I'm removing the person from the list using another uh, link with a lambda expression inside it, saying remove everyone that you find with this ID inside the person's list and then redirect yourself to index. So that's pretty much all you have to do for the action method part in the controller. But what do we do with the delete page? What is that all about? Well, it's kind of funky. I could have made it a lot easier, but I want to show you a few things like how you can actually add buttons inside a form. So what did I do? Well, first I specify the model that I'm going to work with here because I want to actually print out, do you want to delete Bob or whoever we want to delete here. So I pull out the name of the model that we want to delete. Now, what do I do next? Well, I add a form. Remember, a form is just a wrapper class. You won't see something saying, here's a form. It won't say that. So you can wrap anything inside a form. And in my case, the action is going to be the delete as a post, of course, because that's what I want to hit here in the controller, the post here. And then just like we talked about in the edit one, I add a hidden field here that points to the model's ID named ID so that I can also figure out and return the actual ID when I do click the yes button. Now going back, uh, this is how I then use a submit button just to send back, I want to delete this guy, game over. Now again, I do not have to have a form in my case because I did not have to make it a post request to delete, but I decided to do so because I want to maybe hide the name and the ID for the outside so people just can't start deleting all my models if they want to. So that was just an extra precaution I made. Then I add an ACR here and then I just add a, a symbol button here to say go back if I do not want to delete something. So let's uh, try and start this and just show you the actual result. No, the last thing I did by the way was actually just add another row. So the application has now been running. We have uh, the delete button, the edit button, the, we can show our things. Let's try and do a delete. So I press delete and I press yes. Now Lars is gone, pretty simple. Let's try and press delete and say no go back. He's not gone. Okay, so it, it seems to be working. Let's add another person. Let's call him uh, John. There we go. Let's save John. Now John is available with a new ID. Let's add another person, uh, Billy. And let's save Billy. Uh, now, again, you can talk about how the UI looks. I could make it a lot prettier, and we might look at that later. Maybe it shouldn't say Perron's view when it's actually a person's view. But, okay, we'll figure that out later. It's a small, smaller details. Thanks for your time for doing this CRUD setup. Now we're actually ready to maybe move things into a more layered direction where we start to pull all the logic into um, a manager or something like that to avoid all of this noise of actually how to delete, update, etc. So see you in the next videos.